It's all right, Van Dyke, you can sit this one out. I'll debrief him. <laughs> yeah, he wants to see both of us, okay? <clears throat> There you go. Sir. Fine, thanks. <clears throat> Sit down, Rob. So, the largest drug bust in stream in the last five years. I should be congratulating the two of you. Unfortunately, something's been brought to my attention. Rob, why did you initially refuse to chase suspect's car last night? What? I got down here that when Clive's car sped past you last night, exceeding well over twice the speed limit, you refused to chase him. I chased him, didn't I? And when you arrived at the house, you ordered Van Dyke to remain outside on her own, potentially putting her life at risk. No, I suggested... And when she was halfway through handcuffing Mosef, you barged her off and handcuffed him yourself. Why the fuck would you do that? Oh, you think she told me all this? Everything you did that mansion was caught on the police chopper cam. Smith and Kane wrote in the reports too. In the last three months, this is the third incident where you put other officers and entire operations at risk for the sake of your fucking ego. Which brings me back to the recommendation you asked me for. For the detective's job. I'm going to recommend Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, fucking what? My reputation is on the line. And I've been asked to recommend the best candidate for the job. Danielle's been doing an outstanding job lately. Her intuition brought down a whole drug ring overnight. And I believe you excel as a detective. Sir, I... thank you. This is fucking bullshit. Depending on your performance, I may consider you next time this opportunity arises. This meeting is over.